Hello, so today I thought we'd transform this um, little metal heart. Um, I've had it hanging in my craft room, well three of them actually, hanging in my craft room for quite some years um, and I decided I, I wanted to make it more rusty looking. Um, I could try just the rusting powder uh, from Paper Artsy just under it just as it is um, maybe sticking it with some PVA or something but I, I decided I wanted to transform it a little bit sort of differently to that so I've got some rusty car infusions some green man infusions and the rusting powder all from Paper Artsy water sprayer some vinegar in a little uh, flip top bottle some Liquidex uh, matte gel medium and a couple of paint brushes so I'm going to start I have already sanded this just with a sanding block just to try and take a little bit of the the paint off um, it doesn't seem to want to come off very easily um, so I just gave it a quick sand, wiped it on a, a cloth to get rid of the paint powder and then I'm going to have a go at transforming it. It's a little bit of an awkward shape to get hold of without getting your fingerprints on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit of blue tack on my glass mat and then just pop it on so I'll be able to sort of work on it without having to handle it as much. So to start with I'm going to get the rusty car infusions, sprinkle a little bit onto my glass mat, get my matte gel medium and my little flat brush. I won't need much of this and mix it. Now the, it's got walnut crystals in it as well as the dye ink crystals. So I'll keep mixing for a little bit just so that the walnut ink also gets diluted in the gel medium. If you wanted a brighter rusty look you could just mix it and not let the walnut ink crystals get in there, get dissolved. Right, so I've got a fair bit on my brush and then I'm just going to stipple it over. I could brush it but you get brush marks and that's not what I want. I'll just hold it a little bit just so it doesn't move too much. I'm doing one side of this and then I will do the other but I'll let this completely dry before I do the other one. Sorry about the nattling. There we are. I think we're just about covered. Try and get the back of the hanger as well with this. There we are. And then I put my brush straight into water, otherwise it will go solid. Making sure I've got all the edges and everything done. Oh, I've missed a bit there. Right, so straight in the water. I'll just get rid of this off here. Keep my baby wipe to the side because I can use it again and then I can also dry it and do something with it. 
Right, I'll give that a quick whiz to let it dry. So next we've got the, that was Rusty Car Infusions by Paper Artsy, this is Green Man. A bit of shake, a little bit to the side. Dilute it with some water. May need a bit more water. Oh no, I'm fine. It gives this lovely teal green colour and then I'm just going to do the same with that just going to add that over the top in a dabbing sort of motion That's possibly about enough. What I might do is just give it a little bit of a, a spritz and then it will run a little. and grungy. Just take my um, blue tack, I couldn't remember the word, off a minute. Right, look we're getting a lovely grungy rusty coloured baby wipe to use later. <coughs> now, I think We've got it's still a little bit wet, so while it's wet, I'll get a piece of paper folded into, pop that on, right. and I've got my rusting powder. Now, I do have a little pot. Sorry that I put rusting powder into. If I sprinkle it straight from here, I'll get lines. So I tend to get a little bit into this pot. And I don't need much. And then get my fan brush, if I can find it. Right, my fan brush. Pick a little bit of the powder up on my fan brush and then just sprinkle it over. You don't get such definite lines with it. got quite a 
lot of water there, so I'll put quite a bit there. There we are. I always put my fan brush in the water because you never quite know if there's some rusting powder left on it. All right, so that was the Paper Artsy Rusting Powder. Now, I do tend to just make sure the rusting powder is sticking to the heart. I just give it a little dab with a cotton bud. And then it makes sure that it's sticking to the water. And we'll keep this. Alright. So we'll move that away. I can put the excess rusting powder in my little tub. There isn't a lot, but I don't like to waste things. And then I'm going to take my cotton bud again and just add some vinegar. This is just malt vinegar. And I'm just going to add it where I can see that I've got the rusting powder. I'm using the cotton bud because it's it, I get not brush I don't get brush strokes then. It actually the rusting powder runs with the vinegar as it, it runs down. So it'll go into all the nooks and crannies and crevices. Now normally you would use an adhesive to add the rusting powder. I tend to rely on the fact that the rust will adhere it to the surface and then if it doesn't it'll just brush off and give a bit more of an, a more natural look. Right, there we are. So that's the vinegar applied and it does look nice and grungy already. Um, but when the vinegar and the rust in powder react then you'll get a, a different look again. Right, just pop that on there, that's got rusting powder on it. Uh, it'll, it'll have a a little bit of a texture but it will also have um, a little bit of a shine where the grey rusting powder hasn't reacted um, if I've missed it with any vinegar so you, you'll get a different depth of um, depth of look so we'll let that dry I tend to leave the rusting powder things for quite a long time usually over, overnight um, because it's better to leave them overnight it just it gives them more time to react if it hasn't reacted enough, then what I'll do is I'll wet a kitchen paper towel with vinegar, lay it on and then leave it till it's dried and that will achieve the rusting uh, as well. Somebody uh, on the paper Paperazzi page the other day said they were having trouble getting things to rust, so I recommended using the kitchen towel uh, and leaving things overnight so that it gives it a little bit more time to react. So you'll see here, I don't know if you can see it's too far away maybe, 
we've got the greyness of the rusting powder um, showing through. So hopefully, if I tip it, it'll run as well. Um, we'll get some of that left, but we'll also get the rust onto the powder as well. Just notice that the tip of the heart hasn't got so much vinegar on. That should be all right. So I'll stop the video and we'll come back when it's done its thing. Right, I was quite impatient. <laughs> I wanted to get on, so I've actually dried this with a heat gun. Um, so obviously it hasn't rusted because it hasn't had time to react. But I've got the nice rusting powder has bonded to the heart. So I'm going to do the next um, effect, the next technique, which is just getting a little bit of metallic wax on my finger. This is Art Alchemy Metallic Wax Brushed Iron by Prima. It's um, one of Finnebar's products. So I've got a little bit on my finger. And then I'm just going to very lightly brush my finger over the top of the heart and it will pick up the raised areas and transfer the, the metal effect. Hopefully you can see this. Now you can see it's a little bit... There we are. You can see it better on the darker areas. So build it up gradually, start very gently, put a little bit on and then build it up gradually. So you can see it had almost a floral um, look to the raised areas before I started with this. So there we are. Now I could leave it at that because that looks really nice. It's the effect I want. But I know that there's some rusting powder on there that hasn't activated. It's in these little crevices. So I've not tried this with the wax before, having put the wax on, but I'm going to get my kitchen roll, soak it in vinegar and put it on and leave it till it's dried. Uh, and then I'll let you see the effect. But for the moment, hopefully you can see this, you get the nice metallic highlights as well as all the rusty grungy bits. hope you can see that. So you could leave the rusting powder off if you haven't got it and just use the infusions and then the metallic wax. So it is a complete change to what it started like, which was white. When I do the other side, I'll just get that blue tack off, off the back. So there we are. So I thought I'd just show you, I said I was going to soak the kitchen paper and put it on, but I thought I ought to show you how I do that. I've just made a wad of kitchen, absorbent kitchen roll at the bottom. Uh, place the heart on. I'm going to put one sheet of the kitchen roll on the top. And then I'll sprinkle this on. Just tap it so that it goes down onto the all the areas of the heart. There we are. And you can see already it's either the infusions that haven't reacted with the water because there might have been, uh, with the gel medium, there might have been some that hadn't reacted uh, or the rusting powder but it's it's already changing the colour of the kitchen paper. There we are. So I'll leave that for quite a while now and see what happens. The bonus is we'll probably get a lovely heart-shaped piece of rusty kitchen roll um, to use as well which would be very very nice. I could adhere that once it was dry 
onto, ooh, what could we put it onto? Something like a piece of grey board. Uh, or I could fashion a piece of clay to be that shape. Having just thought about it, I will get a little bit more of the rusting powder out of my little pot. I've washed my fan brush so and I'll just sprinkle it on the top because we then we'll get a, a bit more reaction on this paper and we'll get the heart to use. Just a, a thought, as I said, about it. Right. So that's in contact with the kitchen roll, which is soaked in vinegar. So it should react as well. So as I say, we'll leave it for a while, come back and see what it's doing. I think you can already see <clears throat> that it, it is reacting and going rusty already. Um. Sometimes you have to just add a little bit more vinegar. And this this little bottle is great because you can just get one drop at a time. Yeah, I think that's going to be good when it's done. So we'll, as I say, I've said this many times already, we'll leave it to do its thing and then we'll come back later. Right, so while we've got these little hearts out, I've done the uh, technique pr video of the process video of doing the um, rusted heart. I thought I'd do this one a little bit different. So it's the same heart. I haven't sanded this one this time. Uh, I've got some Art Basics Heavy Black Gesso. That's it's by Prima. I haven't used it in a long while. don't use black gesso as much as I used to do. And I'm just going to pick a little bit up on an, an old brush. I use an old brush for this. And I'm just going to completely cover it. I'll probably get my hands in a terrible mess. Does cover nicely, does this because it's a heavy gesso, so it's got a, a decent amount of body. And I'm stippling it on rather than brushing it on because then I'll get an uneven texture rather than brush strokes. <laughs> Black fingers. Just go around all the little bits that I think I've missed and the edges. Make sure that there's that it's wet everywhere because the next step relies on it still being wet. So I've got quite a reasonable coat on it. fingers. Right, so we'll put that away and then we've got a piece of folded paper that we used for the last technique. Get rid of that. Put our heart on it. Get our rusting powder. This is paper artsy rusting powder and as I've said before I've got it in this little it's actually melted I melted it with my heat bun this little pot um, because it gives me the chance to get it out a little bit more unevenly I haven't got another fan brush and my first one's in the wash so I've got a fairly loose-ish brush 
and I'm going to pick some of the rusting powder up and then just I'm still getting lines which is not a one a fan brush is ideal for this actually we'll go for it we'll put quite a lot on and this should because the gesso is still wet stick to the gesso we've got quite a lot on you could put a, as little or as much as you wanted very carefully get this up remove the excess and you can see it's got still quite a lot on it but I've got this rusting powder to go back into the jar a bit like you do with embossing powder so that you don't waste any and then I'm going to let that dry so that the rusting powder is stuck to the black gesso uh, and then I'm going to do like I usually do soak some kitchen paper in some vinegar place it over the top and leave it to dry so that the rusting powder will hopefully then rust and you'll get a black heart with rust on it but then I'll go over with some metallic wax and highlight, highlight the raised areas but for the moment we'll just let that dry Right, so I've um, speeded up the process a little because I've heat dried the heart um, so that I can get on. Um, it's dry to the touch. The rusting powder has stuck to the gesso, hopefully enough that it won't come off. I've set it onto a, just a wad of... Um, kitchen roll paper it's just paper roll that you use use in the kitchen I'm just going to set this second sheet which I've folded in half and then half again to the side I'm just going to wet it this is white vinegar in just a little it's one of those little bottles that you get for taking toiletries away on holiday but it's ideal because you can get just a little bit of vinegar out at a time, a few drops. Um, if you put vinegar into a spray, a normal spray bottle, it will corrode the spring in the spray bottle and then eventually become useless so and not work. So I tend to use this because I can just add a little bit at a time as you see. So I've soaked the kitchen paper towel in the white vinegar pressed it onto the top of the heart which has got the black gesso and the rusting powder and then I'll set that aside to dry and react if it doesn't react enough the rusting powder what I'll do is I'll soak the tissue again and the bonus is we should get a nice heart shaped rusty image onto the tissue as well so then I can use that in another project I did explain this in the other video um, but just in case you're just watching this one as a standalone then I thought I would just repeat it so we'll leave that to dry and come back and see our results so they've been soaking now for probably a couple of hours uh, I was getting very impatient. I don't always have a lot of patience. So I did give them a blast with a heat gun just to dry them off a little bit. But I could already see that the rust was soaking through the tissue so I knew it was working. So I thought we'd do the reveal. 
We'll start with the one that we did first, which has the gel medium with the um, infusions, the rusty car and the yeah, just the gel medium and the rusty car infusions to set off with, which was stippled on. Um, and then I used the Green Man infusions. And we added a little bit of the rusting powder while that was still wet. Um, and then when that was dried, we actually um, added the wax. So... We'll take the layers off and then you can see they still have to dry. So we've got quite a nice heart shape in rust with little bits of rust still on there, the rusting powder still on there. Um, so when I put that onto a piece I'll probably just shade round to sort of make it more obvious that it's a heart shape. If you remember, we, I sprinkled a little bit of rust powder on top of the first layer of tissue and then put another piece of tissue on. So this is the second piece of tissue, which is rather nice. And this one, I think it's going to be stunning when I take it off. Yes, that is the layer that was directly on the heart and directly on the um, rusting powder and that is absolutely wonderful I don't know if you can see um, it's got a crease in the tissue the um, kitchen roll tissue but I think that just enhanced it it looks makes it look almost like a, a broken heart and when that's dry that will be absolutely wonderful on a, on a, on a base We've got the heart. I love how this has turned out. Um, we've got a real depth of, of colour. There's some rust. There's a little bit of the green man infusions. You can still see the metallic. Hopefully you can see that, the metallic coming through as well. If I wanted more metallic, I could add it, but I actually think I'm going to leave that as it is because I absolutely love that as it is. And obviously, that's what it started out like. So I'll do the other side. This hasn't got a lot on it. It's just the vinegar and a little bit of colour. But I can use this again and build up the layers and add more colour to it. Set that aside just for the minute over there. We'll come back and this is the second one. Now this is the one where I just used heavy black gesso and then I added the rusting powder while it was wet and then I put the tissue over the top. And again we've got an, quite a nice heart shape. It, it will need a little bit more work to make it more definite that it's a heart shape. I think you can tell. And then we've got our heart. Now it will develop as the oxygen gets to it a little bit more of the rusty patina. But I actually love the fact that there's dark bits of the gesso showing through. There's the rusting powder which is still grey but it's starting to go rusty as well. It will develop as it gets more air to it because it's still quite damp. If I wanted it to rust more, I could just put a little bit more vinegar on um, and let it develop a bit more. But it's got a lovely rough texture as well. You can probably hear. If I wanted to seal all of these so that the rust wouldn't flake off, I could just stipple over um, matte gel medium just to seal it so that none of the rust will come off uh, but I tend to just leave them as they are because it actually develops a little bit more does the rust as well so that's another 
really nice heart. Nothing on the bottom there, of course. So I'll put them side by side. Let me put them on a piece of white paper and then you can see a bit better. There we are. And that's the difference. This one I may add a little bit of the, the wax again. I do quite like it when I get the wax. So I'll just get a little bit of the Art Alchemy Max. Yeah, it just it just brings out the texture a little. Just a little bit. And obviously I, with like the other one I'll do the back as well so it matches. There was texture to the heart, as you can see. So there we are. That's another rusty effect heart. So I think uh, that's been successful. I've got one final heart to do. Um, I think I'll possibly try once these are dry, I might try decoupaging that on without adding any colour at the bottom, just to see what that looks like. <laughs>